Hello everyone and welcome back to Which is the Moon. I'm your Friday hostess Natalie. This week's topic is haunted places that you want to visit. And this video is probably going to be pretty short because I don't think I've met a haunted place I don't like. Um, there are a few specific places that I would have liked to have visited. Obviously, uh, Braun Castle in Romania, um, or Transylvania actually, which is in the Carpathian region of Romania. Uh, that is well known as Dracula's Castle. There have been many different stories about that place as far as blue lights coming up the hill that are inexplainable, sounds, things like that. I think it would be very interesting, not just from a witchy perspective, but from a historical perspective to actually visit the castle and see the place where a lot of these battles and a lot of these things that we read about have taken place and kind of separate the fact from the fiction. That would be probably one of the top on my list. Another place that I would really like to stay at is the uh, Overlook Hotel. Many people know it as the Stanley Hotel from The Shining. It is a real place. You can visit it. It's in Colorado, and it's stunningly beautiful. There are a lot of ghost stories about it, and I know usually around Halloween they offer some sort of special. I know this last year they were running some sort of a special. My daughter really wanted to go stay there during the Halloween weekend because they had like a t-shirt, bottles, that kind of thing, and it, it was kind of unique. It was a unique experience. It would be fun. Just in terms of local things that I would like to go and visit that I've not had a chance to go and visit, haunted places that I'd like to go and explore, there is a hotel here in Fort Worth where every room has a story about it. And I believe it's like $100 a night to go stay there. It's not horribly expensive, just kind of out of my budget at the moment. But uh, it's an old hotel. It's been around for a very long time. And there are many, many different stories. Like I said, every room has a story. So that would be an interesting place. And off the top of my head, I cannot think of the name of the hotel. I do apologize. Just look up Haunted Hotels Fort Worth and you'll find what I mean. There is also a bed and breakfast that I believe is called the Scottish Rose uh, in McKinney, which is just to the east of me, that I would also like to visit that I understand has got some, some haunted history to it. I'm really into local places that have a lot of haunted history. I've not had an opportunity to do any of the local haunted tours, so I don't really know. I can say that there are several places, several bed and breakfasts in Louisiana and the Mississippi area that I would love to go and stay and visit and kind of check those places out. There um, is one of the oldest mental hospitals. It's kind of run down. It's been abandoned, but I do understand that they do tours of it that I would really, really like to go and see. And in fact, one of the ghost hunter shows recently did a show out there uh, a few months back that I would really, really piqued my interest because they were pretty freaked out by some of the things that happened to them there. So I think that that would be interesting. And I'm one of those people that believes that the buildings absorb a certain amount of the energy that we project into a place. And so the good, the bad, the ugly, the sweet, the beautiful all get absorbed. And so some of that remains long after the building's even been abandoned or not, no longer in use. And I think mental hospitals particularly are rife for that kind of thing. And being uh, sensitive to that sort of thing, I would really like to go and check out some of these places. Another place that I would really like to be able to visit but is no longer available for visits is there was a hotel in Louisiana. It was in one of the old plantation homes that was there that had a lot of history behind it and had some pretty rampant ghost stories about it, particularly surrounding one of the former slaves that used to live there. She actually poisoned the family and uh, it was supposed to be so haunted that if you could stay the night in this one room, they would allow you to to stay for free and I was just certain that I would be out cold like a light with no questions asked very very quickly and um, sorry my spoiled dog is like rolling over on his back here so I can rub his belly he's all big fat baby archa archa but it burned to the ground recently so like within the last three or four years completely gone so unfortunately that is out there are several places in Europe that I would love to visit. I understand that there are several castles in Europe that uh, 
in Ireland that are haunted that have been converted into bed and breakfasts you can stay at. I know Anthony Melchior, the guy who does all the hotel redos, he went and stayed in one and had an experience that really tripped him out. So obviously those kinds of places interest me. The Tower of London is one that I have always wanted to visit because there is so much history. I love history and there's so many ghost stories and so many things that have happened there and how could there not be with all of the tragedy and torture and beauty that's happened there. It would be something that I would really, really like to go and feel and experience for myself because I think that, you know, we uh, that are sensitive to those sorts of things really pick up on that and feel that. I'm sure it would be emotionally charging. So those are just a few of the places that I'd like to go and see. I'd really like to get some discourse going because I'm always open to finding new places to, to visit. Uh, there are many things on my bucket list. <laughs> and visiting some of those places are definitely on my bucket list. So anything that you guys can recommend or suggest, I would be interested in hearing about, especially any places that have any connections to the Irish, the Celts, and the Native Americans because that's my background and that's where my interest is so I would really like to know if you guys have any other suggestions on that that front so sorry if this video is a little bit short but it's just a few of the places I'd like to go to be honest with you if I could visit every haunted place on the planet I'd probably be there but you know that's kind of unreasonable and a lot of these I'm sure for me in terms of um actuality of ever making it there simply not because of will you know lack of will or or desire to go but because i live with other people who have this much inkling to go to some of these places uh, and their needs have to be considered also um, i probably will never see some of these places but that's my little bucket list so let me hear yours thanks so much for watching and have a great weekend